Welcome back guys to Paper Mario Stick a Star, where last episode we entered our fourth world, striking out into Snow Rise, where two covered shards awaited, one opening World 4-5 but no further, and the other requiring the radiator to melt the snow to reach World 4-2 Ice Flow, as we now dodge the Cooligans and battle in icy terrain. That was a sellable thing. Can I get up there? Oh, oh, hidden door. Okay, uh, how do I get there, though? Must have to fall from above. He says. Fly, you fool! Whee! Got it. What does a leaf do? I don't know. <laughs> it sells good. Oh, that could be useful. A hair dryer in snowy climbs. Could be very useful. I mean, to be honest though, we are talking about a game that people said is bad. But then when a game's given a 7 out of 10, like, the world sets on fire, and that game's also considered bad. So, we do live in that world. Right, I'm off that way, am I? <laughs> Excuse me! What's down this hole? Ah. Nothing. It's literally a pitfall, breadful. Oh god. It's coming for me! Oh, health! Help me no! <laughs> I don't even do much damage. Why am I getting health before the obvious health power? Knock me up there. Oh, you're not gonna let me up. Oh, there we go. Got him. 80 HP. Okay, so what are you gonna do, mister? Run into me, uh, successfully, at that. Run into me incredibly successfully. Oh, I may have fire hammers, no, there's one. I need to go buy more. They're great for here, because look at that. I need to buy more. I need, like, an army of fire hammers. Also get ice in exchange. <laughs> I'll take that. Poor snow spike. They never get a chance, do they? Cut down in their prime. Ah! I need to go back, though. Uh... I didn't know if there's, like, a definite way to go. Ow! <laughs> if there's a way for me to go on the left, but there isn't. Oh! Pfft. Hunter killer penguins. You come round tight on this corner. I I can't see round the corner. That's not fair. Is there a pattern that I'm not getting here? Probably. That's cool. We made it. I love you, chat. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, I need to beat that guy in the back, but I don't have enough fire. I'm running out. Where's the place I can go that has the shot? Wood 1-6? One, 1-5. One, one, I should probably go there, too. I love the timing for that one. You just press the button repeatedly. It's if you wait that it's bad. God, whoever would have guessed that I'd love the elemental level so much because everything dies in the blink of an eyes. Okay, what's here? Okay. How 
How do I get to it? Not that way. Oh, that was a bad move, bad move, bad move, bad move. Uh, uh. It's turned into a spiky git. That's annoying. Fine, I'll use ice. Wait a second. He's got more HP. He's got eight git. The health at the top was not a multiple of seven. <laughs> Don't you love how computer games subtly teach you, like, like especially games like this, which are obviously going to be, no matter what you say, it obviously adults will pick it up, but it's more child oriented. Subtly teach baby some math. I mean, you have to engage with the math. And to be honest, it keeps us oldies on our toes because we have to relearn that stuff, don't we? <laughs> All the time. The, the amount of use of what you get from a lot of the stuff in school is no longer possible. <laughs> you don't do it. You just don't do it. Okay, I'm really running out of great options here. I should use the... I'm thinking I should use the helmet. So the guy at the back has the least HP. Do I have a standard line jump? I think that will probably do the job. <laughs> we learned trigonometry from a Baby Mario game? Who says I learned it in the first place? Still gone, eh? Literally didn't bother to learn trigonometry. <laughs> learn your trigonometry, people. Is there two root? Oh. 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 So, is is it, am I putting things, is it the thing things? Or other things? I don't know. It needs four of something. Okay, I won't stick any more. Okay, so these are just upgrade boxes. Okay. That mind them. I was wondering if I actually put thing things there, but they're just these. If I put ice ones up top, I can exchange them for fire. That's how this should work, right? So this is the this is the Paper Mario Elemental slash not you know status effect hammer weapon triangle. Wait, that's well okay that. Didn't work out, but I actually got three hammers, so that's cool. There we go. It worked out there. Confused me on the other one. Okay, I have really no. I've fought a lot. <laughs> Ow! Mister, I hate you. <gasps> Shiny Cooper Trooper! How do we deal with this new problem? First of all, we use a shiny line jump. We don't have a standard jump, do we? We only have shiny jumps. Then we use a shiny jump. Right, well, oh, we can actually beat him! Whoops. Not what I intended, but we still win. I was expecting to get the shiny Cooper in a shell, and then bounce on him and hit the guy, but that didn't really work. Oh, I see. Okay, so. There we go. Free door! Come back! 
I want you! Don't go away! Frito! Frito! And that's World 4 2! See you, Chairman. Whoa! And that's why you defeat enemies, because now you can afford literally everything. Literally the one reason for beating enemies in this game is that. Just get all the coins. I'm not tired. I can still go, coach. I've still got it in me. Just give me a heart block. This looks like a job for Luigi. Not for me. Ah, greetings, Master Mario. How very impressive you were able to brave the cold all the way here. I'm the steward of this estate. As I'm sure you must be exhausted by the long journey, nothing would please me more than to invite you in to enjoy the comforts of the mansion. Sadly, at times like these, we must forego such niceties. What's... the music just died. Someone has committed a terrible act. A book was opened. A terrible book with terrifying things sealed within. Many terrifying things escaped. These things, they are so terrifying that I cannot even bear to speak their names. Suffice to say, it was too terrifying to be in such close proximity to those terrors, so I fled the mansion and set up residence in my current spot of shame. Sounds elderish. If you doubt this terrifying tale, I ask that you look upon this. Just pulls off his head. We got the Book of Sealing. Shall I make that into a thing? Master Mario, what you now hold is the very book of sealing I speak of. The one that once bound these terrifying things. It hurts me to see the book in the capable hands of a gallant figure such as yourself. I entreat you to seal all the terrifying things within that book and return it to the cellar. Then, and only then, may I resume my duties inside and offer you the royal treatment you deserve. Master Mario, please allow me to treat you to the finest hospitality known to Toadkind. Seal up all those terrors. Uh, all right, let me get this straight. You want us to go inside this mansion of terror and seal up all the terrifying things in this book? Why well, it seems strange that such an ancient seal could break so easily. Maybe it's the work of a royal sticker. Well, either way, stamming out terror inside a haunted mansion sounds like fun, right? Come on, Mario, let's go inside and have a look around. Mario, uh, is it? this is for me. This is Luigi. Of course, if you're too terrified, you don't have to. <laughs> technically, Technically, technically. Mario has had some very bad times with mansions lately, so I can understand. <laughs> He's out of here. Does that count as a scrap or a thing? No, it's not a thing, so it's actually a book. So I don't have to go, oh, look at that. Stats thing. All right, I'm actually going to leave. We'll come back. So I don't have to actually thingamamize that book to use it for anything. I'm just going to go to Deckelberg and go to the museum. Maybe buy some more fire hammers. But to be honest, I probably won't need fire hammers in this place, will I? I could get that radiator again. Anything like that's going to be pretty good for anyone we're fighting, right? So what's the thing I've managed to obtain? Yes. Yes. I need more fiery things. Uh, where is it? Okay, I've completely missed this. There it is. Job done! So that's the only one on the red side? That is. There's still things to put away, of course, but. I guess I won't worry too much about that. Oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you indeed, Noble. This terrifying adventure seems like a job for the terrifying Luigi. It's terrifying and enjoyable. Terrifying. Shouldn't be terrifying you. 
That's not what we're doing on the light-hearted side of the life. Okay. You didn't scare me this time though, did you? You should have waited to a more appropriate time. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. You scared me last time you did it, that's for sure. Yikes. Now, give me some more fire hammers, mister. Seems the guy who sells fire flowers has got a real monopoly on the job. And 20 coins. It's not exactly much for a one shot of a group of opponents, is it? I've got the goods. Take your pick. I'm here to buy. Sponge is 180. Too bad I couldn't have to. Ready is 250! That must do quite damage. That must do some big damage. I mean, I've got 3,000 coins, so I don't really worry. I'm just surprised. Got seven pages of things I'm carrying now. Alright, let's bring more heat to our icy place. And now, wonder if I have any light to beat some ghosts. Oh. <laughs> Let's find out if my sudden brainwave is actually a requirement or not. I'm going into a haunted house, which might be a dark mansion that might need lights, which we've just got a torch. So if you know I'm a... Hmm. Let's find out! How dare you have curry, I want it. Well, at the moment, it looks very much like a Luigi's Magic game, really. Alright, let's check behind the stairs. No secret room? Our secret room behind the chairs. We're, we're lacking music. We hate vases. Okay. It won't open. You think it's locked? Or maybe... We need the club key! Which one's first, then? There we go. One next to the sticker. Well, it's not dark yet. Oh, I better not have to... Oh, it's okay. Hey Mario, please come to the castle. I baked the cake for you. Peach. Retreat. Hey, were those the terrifying things just now? They look more cheerful than terrifying to me, but whatever. One thing's for sure, they can hide like nobody's business. Maybe they're really shy or something. Anyway, we've got to find them all and steal them out. We need a poltergust, ASAP! And also find them all! You do realise there's like 15 of them. <laughs> As in 15 million. How do I get up here? A mouse back there. Well, there's something I can put over there. <laughs> Come into range so I may jump on your head. Oh, he's nearly dead. Oh no. Like, what do I use when a bow's nearly defeated? I can hit him with a stick of the hammer, with. Get a rat out of the kitchen, and then check this out. Yeah, I thought so. That looks different than everything else. We've got an oven! We have more hot things than ever before. Which is why I let's stick something over here. I don't even know. Oh, you didn't know. Wait, that's supposed to go in the pan. Oh, what? That's close ground. 
Let me get up here. From above, from below. Can I jump literally on the back of this chair? No. Mary, your powers of jumping are failing. Is that fridge a thing? It's got a boo. How many do I have to find? Right, a boo has HP, which we did select, but can I also attack it? Yes. Yes, I can. Get in my book. Boo's ceiling successful. Oh, now I can pick it up. Fridge. We'll use that when we get in the hot place, right? That's the way this works, surely. Alright, so I can't get up. I ain't got some stuff. I wish I could move some of these chairs. Well, that cake is a thing too. But maybe... This room has more than one tier to it. Just maybe. There's booze here. If I'm looking at them. I saw you. Well, that was a fortunate shot in the dark, wasn't it? I thought Mary never get scared. Well, you fought wrong. It's a bit of a scaredy cat, this Mary, but fella. He is, he is. Thank you for the cheer. Where am I going next? What am I doing next? Hammer. Got loads of them. Oh, what do you mean as well? Thank you. The blue ceiling is successful. I now have full HP again, even though I already had full HP. Gotta check the vases and stuff, haven't we? You never know. Might be someone in there. Was there a boo on the stairs then? I looked away and then something was weirdly shiny, but I think it was a sticker. Oh, oh, oh. What did I find? The mansion safe. Not what I was going for, but I'll take it, I guess. Alright, there's a boo out that window. Can I go behind here? Can I pull the drapes? No. Seem to be anything to press. I guess we'll go out there. No, it's a hallway. The zombie dogs are going to jump through the window in a second. That's where the mansion safe goes. That a lot of guys. That should be fine, shouldn't it? Come crawling down the walls. The plague, the pestilence. I guess I better put the uh, safe in there then. Just hidden behind a bookcase. What? I guess the safe does not go here. I thought the safe was hidden behind a sliding bookcase. That's incorrect. But I can check this. Professional Biographies Gold Series, 554th edition, 30 years of safety in the snows. A lonely chairlift deep in the mountains, a professional lift operator who stoically looked after the safety of the skiers and tourists who rode it. In the bleakest blizzards, the her heroic figure stood on the platform and watched guests disappear into the snowy sky, ensuring their safety. For 30 years, he loved that chairlift, and more than that, he loved safety. After retiring, he withdrew to a quiet life in a local mansion with his butler. 
Now these challenges lost this stalwart bulwark of safety, it lifts no more. Next up, selling stickers pro style. They lied! It wasn't selling stickers pro style. Why not Valley Chairlift Guidebook? This is what this guy is. This chairlift is a popular tourist attraction that offers a sweeping view of majestic Wild Out Valley. Take in the incredible snowscape extending beneath your feet as you lounge comfortably in our luxury seats. Ah. Of course, we're going to find the scrap in here that allows us to go to World 4-5, right? Warning! Swinging or bouncing in the chairlift may style the local wildlife. Because of course, we can't go that way until we go that way. Something tells me this level might take some time. Why will you not let me have the sticker? Oh! What? Uh... Shall I put this wall back? I don't know. I'll take keep it with me. He has two friends. Two turns. I think we can tear this down a little bit and use two normal ice flowers. Oh, I didn't need to. They actually died from one ice flare. Whoops. Whoops. Waste. I've got six power blocks and I'm not using them though. Can't actually remove an entire wall, yeah? Well, I can't reach the thing, so I imagine I'm just wondering if I stick it somewhere else. I mean, I could try to stick it back here. No, it doesn't go there. It does not go there, it does not. Oi! Oi! You! Oh, that! You're taunting me now, aren't you? Hey, get. Wait till I get in there. You and your green house. You just, you wait. I need to put a door on the left side, I'm pretty sure. What a git. Well, at least none of the doors have eaten me yet or fallen on me. It's upside down. Ah! Uh, Infinity Jump Sticker Owner's Manual. This extremely rare sticker does only a tiny amount of damage with each jump. <laughs> but if you keep jumping perfectly, you can deliver damage again and again for as long as you like. It's useful against both powerful foes and weak enemies who appear in a stack. So save it for a special occasion. <laughs> I tried my best. How do we get there though? Oh, here we go again. So yeah, this is like a super boss battle one. But that one doesn't go there. Does the safe go there, maybe? We're just stealing everything from this place now. I mean, technically, I could have read that when it went in the right place. So this is where the safe goes. A boo? It's a golden boo! A shiny gold boo! He's got 18 HP! Do I have to take him out fast or something? I love gold! 
Well, I'm assuming he takes less damage, so... I'm going to go... I've got loads of gems, I can waste one. Well, that's a lie, his gold colouring went nothing! I just wasted two stickers for no reason. But he did poot out a very tiny amount of cash. Alright, now that boo's sealed successfully. Does every room have a boo? This mansion's got a lot to end it. Now let's put this book here. And now we can actually read it because it's the correct way around, but I did it hard style! Flashy Infinity Jump sticker. Of course, we're just going to end up putting that in the blooming. You know what we're going to do with it. We all know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm worried that, uh, like, my. The, the top of the 3DS snapped back then when I jumped, and I was like, Ooh, We got a stapler! <laughs> Look. A man may feel a stapler. What's your problem with my fearing a stapler? Woo, 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 two, two, woo, woo. Can't do anything there, I don't have anything to go there. Mad you already Luigi's Mansion? Hey! <laughs> Wasn't no staplers attacking me in Luigi's Mansion? Month, day, weather, snowy. The master is at last returned after many long years of service. It appears he's received a painting of himself and worked to mark the occasion. It goes very nicely in the living room. He surveys it for hours at a time while sipping his afternoon tea. How fine it must be to gaze back on times past with all the wisdom that age confers. Master, your 30 years of dedication were not in vain. Thank you for your eternal vigilance. Sacred Sticker Fest Proclamations! The Sacred Sticker Fest celebrates the descent to Earth of the Six Divine Sticker Beings, when they give audience to the entreaties of all. Proclaimed! Attendants shall pick up the Sacred Stickers that have fallen from the heavens in a polite and orderly manner. Proclaimed! When the Six Divine Sticker Beings arrive in their comet, attendants shall make their entreaties with appropriately fervent devotion. Proclaimed! The comet is sacred. Attendants shall never allow their hands to touch it, as such vulgar and greedy appendages are not worthy. Take heed, for only by obeying these rules will the six divine sticker beings hear the entreaties of all and take them to heart. Yes. Slap, sneeze. Can fit a ton of things in that. Thorough spinner analysis are three easy methods for winners. One effective strategy is to time your button presses to hit conspicuous icons like power blocks. Matching icons are surprisingly easy when you suppress the urge to press the button haphazardly and instead press it with rhythmic timing. There are more coins than other icons in the spinner. In other words, your chances of matching icons are highest if you aim for coins. Haven't been doing that at all, have I? Hot Scoop, an outlandish tale of the Everworldly, the mystery of the ghost book. Continue if you dare, gentle reader. A once famous ghost hunter defeated a horde of ghosts single-handedly and he sealed them within a book. It is said that if the book is recklessly opened, the spooky specters could be unleashed. Where in the world this missed ghost book might be hiding is a mystery. A scary one. I just realised we've got, we got to literally hope that the end boss is not King Boo now. Because one, he's got the number on Mario. And two, he's not icy, which would be very disappointing. Don't you dare jump out at me again, Staples. Let's go look around. I wasn't scared because it was a stapler. I was... Do you need help? No. I was scared by the jump scare itself. There's a difference. Oh. Ooh. You do a lot of damage to that scare, mister. Right, we've already established I've got an absolute ton of jumps. One will do it. When the zombie stapler true. A zombie dog stapler would have been the worst. 
Alright, what's up with that brick? Ooh, ceiling successful. Bonk. Bonk? Looks like a switch to me. It isn't a thing. There's a lot of strip ones like that, to be fair, as well. I mean, it looks like somewhere secret to me. Lies. Well, let's go upstairs now. In our spooky mansion. Oh, we found a hidden door. It's a scary story. There's a shop here? What? Grams. Oh my golly, gumdrops! Is this real? I'm even missed if I didn't put a plug in for the great sticker shop at Outlet Point. Great place to do some shopping. What? What? Is this real? I mean, that's even giving me a shiny jump. Well, now I'm confused. Well, let's go to the Sticker Fest grounds, I guess. We found a warp. I mean, warp zones exist in Mario. What's going on, guys? Why are you crying? That's what I've been saying. A Sticker Fest revival is impossible. What? Oh, wow, everyone's pitching in. Why am I has been open? No more crying. I'm going to whip my socks off to revive the Sticker Fest too. And what's going on, though, here? No room now, but oh. The toad of the bomb takes the most weight. Life is rough for the bottom toad. I'm second with the bomb. All the weight, none the prestige you be in the bottom toad. Second with the bottom toad gets no respect. It's hard to balance when you're in the middle. Being the middle toad is definitely toughest. I suppose I can't deny it. Being the second from top toad is pretty easy. Being the toad at the top, I have to look for you in the eyes. It's seriously high up here. All right, all right, pass it up here. Every festival needs a kiosk. Duh. But well, I'm expecting to see. This is very confusing. You know what I mean? I'm actually expecting to find. Like, ghosts here, maybe, but there isn't. When he said a shock and they said something was going on at the, the thing, I expected ghosts. I mean, is this real? Like, does the museum... Is the museum real? Should I put something in the museum? I'm a bit scared to do so. Okay. No, no. Okay, I thought there was nothing there and that was something wrong, but here's my stickers. Well, this is confusing. Well, I'm in the museum because I'm wondering what's real and what's not now. Like, can I plop this in the museum? Is this an okay time or will I lose this infinity jump? Will this count? Is this actually Deckelberg? And why does it link up with the Boo Town? This just makes no sense.
Can I put the torch in? Just in case I need it. See, this is actually, like, this is seriously freaking me out. Probably shouldn't do, but it is. Okay, as so that is was that was Deckelberg. That is a route to Deckelberg. This place has respawned. With enemies, most likely, as well. Okay, then. I guess the more we all know. In the meantime... <gasps> Where'd the Infinity Jump go? Blasphemy. Okay. So it is literally just a warp. I mean, in the world of Mario, these things do exist, so we'll go with it. Yep. Yeah. I just stole that painting. I'm a master thief. Uh, but now where? Okay, that's gonna be in the hall down below us then. We just accept that Mario has mysterious warping bits, right? I mean, Mario 64, like, we're going up to King the Bombs, I said earlier. Wait, I can fit it in there? No, I can't. What is going on? I need to get to that. Wait, you're kidding me. Oh god. Off we go then! That's not very helpful, is it? How am I supposed to jump to something then? I don't need anything up here. Can't go across there. Wow. I mean, can I make jumps over these places? We'll find out by repetitive trying. Oh, I can make that then. I can make that jump. It looks like I'm supposed to jump on a here as well, to be fair. I'm so confused! You don't On the mouse! Truck it fast! Wait, how did front mouse live? <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 front mouse. Not in my house, front mouse. Oh, my shinies. I don't want a jump sticker. Bigger, better things. Right, son.